Yo, yo. Okay. So before we read, we're going to think about the question, the essential question How can we understand nature? Hmm. What nature you gives you natural resources. That's true. Like nature gave you the plants and vegetables that we need. Nature gives the animal food so you have meat. True. That's very true. Okay, great. So, and the genre is folktale. Folk tale. Yeah. Very good. So folktale is kind of like fiction. It's a type of fiction. Yep, and it always teaches you a story. Yeah, great. Good job. That's that's Teach you something about the story. Don't like I read a folk tale before. It's still in the literature. Mm. I think you read and writing or literature. There's a wolf that always wanted to eat ghosts. It's not three pigs, alright? Eat ghosts. And uh, they have a little boy that helped the ghost. And they have a villager that protects the goat. And the little boy said, Ah, there's a wolf, there's a wolf. And actually, there's no wolf. And they just crank it, keep crank it. And uh, if you know they crank it so much, they don't believe him anymore. And the real wolf go on. That's you right. Know? The boy who cried wolf is what it's called. Yep. And uh, the, the story is teach the wolf a lesson is not the boy. So the wolf finally got a goat and they tried to eat it but he got a garden. The wolf got a garden so the, actually the goat is so helpful. They put the weeds out. Actually they just eat the vegetables and the goats become the wolf's friend. The end. Right, right. That, that, so, so this story is similar. This story is going to teach us something. So let's, let's begin. So the story is called How the Beetle Got Her Colors. It's based on a traditional tale from Brazil. By Jonathan Cox, illustrated by McDonald. So this says Mercedes. Mercedes McDonald. Yeah. Oh boy. Perhaps he or she or it likes to eat McDonald's. Yeah, perhaps. Oh, or computer. Um, do you know where Brazil is? Yep, Brazil. Brazil is in South America, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. So can you tell can you read me the first two sentences? Folktale teaches useful lessons and share windows with us. They explain things in the natural world. This folktale tells a beetle got such bright colors. The story comes with the rainforest of Brazil. That is the setting of this flag. Many different plants and animals got their home in the rainforest. Some in those animals are characters in this flag. Okay, good. So folk tales teach us useful lessons, like you said about the wolf, and share wisdom. So wisdom means knowledge with us. So they explain things about the natural world. For example, why does it rain? And why does cer do certain things happen? This folk tale yeah. how beetles got to like Excuse me, I can't really hear you. Can you hear me? Can All right, you hear now. Me? Yeah. Okay, now I'm sorry ahead. about that. Okay, so the story comes from the rainforest of Brazil. That is the setting of this play, or where the play is. Oops. Many different plants and animals make their home in the rainforest. Like, what animals do you think make their home in the rainforest? Snake. That one is that one. A monkey, butterfly, wolf. 
Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure about wool. Or, you know, Harry Potter as the first one, they maybe some golden stones, like secret, secret places so they can, you know, kill Harry Potter. Yeah. I don't know if there's any rainforest in Harry Potter, but maybe there is. I don't remember. Do you think that there's the rainforest? Yeah, there's a forest, but I don't know if there's a rainforest. Okay, so yeah, rainforest is a little bit different than the normal forest. So a normal forest has a lot of trees, you know, normal trees. A temporary rainforest? That is hot or cold, I forgot. All right, what did you say? Temperate rainforest. Perhaps some temperate rainforest is different from other forests. Maybe it's a temperate rainforest. Right, yes. Yeah. So, so, yeah, those are called biomes, right? Those are... Diamonds? Biomes Diamonds. are... Biomes are all the different kinds of places. For example, the tropical rainforest. Temperate rainforest. Yeah. Temperate rainforest. Or maybe the coral reef, which is under in the ocean. Oh, so yeah. biomes are different places on Earth. Yeah. So this rainforest is a tropical rainforest. So there's a lot of animals like snakes and, and a lot of bugs and cougars, maybe some cougars. Okay, so let's talk about the characters. So narrow, a longer stereotype. Oh boy, I need something to remember with. How about a paper? To write a bill. Bill? Like I be something like this before they need to pretend to be like a voice. Right. A voice with a oh, I can't wait. So Beetle. Gray color insects. Beetle. Be what's Beetle voice? Maybe like this. <laughs> Alright, there are frogs. Mm -hmm. The arrow frog. Yeah. Is there two frogs? No, but this one's called an arrow frog. All right, arrow frog. This one has a tricky voice. Hmm. Well, first let's read what kind of frog. So it's a very brightly colored frog. All right, a very brightly colored frog. So what do you think a very brightly covered frog would sound like? I think so. I think that's a good that's a very but, nice voice. But I actually think if it's a man, it won't be a girly voice anymore, right? Right. Well, it depends. So, Some men have high voices. I make the voice like this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's great. That's a great idea. Okay, so the next animal is called a goose. A goose. So it's a rocket animal with glossy brown fur. Good. So a rodent animal with glossy brown fur. So for example, some other rodents are are rats or mouse mice. All right. Um, what sound would it like? What do you think a rat sounds like? No, no, no. A middle, but more a little bit deep, like this. Okay, like a, a little bit of a deeper pitch. Okay. All right. Okay. A parrot. I know it's this parrot right now. Way too high, like this. Or maybe like this. Hmm. Let's see. So, can you tell me about the parrot first? All right. About the parrot. A bird with feathers of red and blue and gold. Mm -hmm. Definitely a very high voice. Yeah. Like, hello. 
Hello. That's kind yes. of what a parrot sounds like, right? Okay. I All right. Can you tell me about the next character? Yeah. Wait. What is this? Jaguar. Oh, Jaguar. Oh, I know this one. Hey, so can you tell me about it first? Jaguar? Oh, no, just a minute. I'm wiping this down. Okay. Jaguar. So black and gold spotted them. Hmm. I think Wait. more like a little bit like this. Hmm. Okay. Like high to low. All right, and now is a snake. Yeah, it's so anaconda. 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 Good. Anaconda. Anaconda. So can you tell me about the Monday? A big snake with pattern on its back. I know what this what's this one? A oh, we huh, 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 huh. Yeah, okay. So I think those are great ideas. So it looks like it looks like we are out of time for tonight. But I'm really excited. Can you keep keep this this paper for next time. All right. And then we can read the story in all the different voices. All right. Okay. It was really nice meeting you. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, me too. Okay. I'll see you again tomorrow. See you. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thank you. Bye.